Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are going to be on Hotspot. Brand new map and we're in a division with I believe Hustle and Peak and we are going to be running a triple Leon division. So Peak does this thing on Mondays. He calls it Meme Build Mondays but it, it's basically meme anything. So uh, whatever he wants to do for uh, memes whether it be playing a game called Mr. President uh, or uh, the Triple Leon, Triple Shima, Triple Yamis, Triple... Basically anything that, that you can have fun in. And uh, so that's what we're doing. And I'll be honest, I kind of wish I had live comms going. Because this was hilarious. This entire game was hilarious. Uh, but, unfortunately, didn't. I decided not to li record live comms for once when I was in the Division. And it backfired. Uh, this one would have been a really good one for live comms. Uh, but anyway... We're going to start out. We're going straight ahead into C. There's three of us together, so we're just, we're going to bully whatever's in front of us. That's the plan. And uh, you're going to see, we're not top tier. Or actually, we are top tier. It's tier six. Sorry. I, I thought for some reason the Leon in my head was a tier five. But no, we've got a Gneisno out here who's just absolutely begging for it. And so we're going to reach out and touch him. But we actually end up waiting and counting it down. So we get everybody on target, getting ready to shoot. And then when everybody's ready, then we count down three, two, one, fire. So we give them all the guns at the same time. New Mexico, wait for it. And fire the guns. And of course I had HE loaded initially and that irritated the crap out of me. But look at all those shells going. That's 45 rounds can be headed down range at any given time. Or actually it's more than that. It's 48 rounds, isn't it? Because three, it's 16 guns each. So it'd be uh 48 rounds heading towards the target now we're all gonna have AP loaded this time and this New Mexico is absolutely begging for it now I don't think that we wait actually Gneisno is popped up so we're gonna go ahead and hit him he's the tier 6 so try to get him as quickly as possible I fire I believe we start firing at will here uh, just because sometimes you want to get the shots off and we get a pretty pretty solid hit there that's a good 7500 damage on the Gneisno but we're moving slowly into the cap. Uh, the destroyer is already ahead of us. He's capturing the base. There are a few destroyers in this match. And there's an aircraft carrier. So this is my first match that isn't in an aircraft carrier that I'm against an aircraft carrier on the channel. Well, other than when we did the test. But uh, we've got the New Mexico out here dead to rights again. We're going to try to get all the rounds on him. We aim ahead of him. And come on. Ooh, he gets touched. And he gets touched some more. Is Peek going to be able to finish him? Peek. Fire the guns, Peek. What are you doing? But no. Uh, me and Hustle are going to be kind of together more in this one than me and Peek. I think Peek's going to kind of run off to his own thing. Which is fine. Hustle and I are going to do our thing. And that's when the Mayhan gets spotted. He went all the way around the island thinking he's sneaky. And he is detected. And... Anytime you're in a destroyer and you see this many Leones running together, even if we're not firing HE, you're going to have a bad day. I only have the front guns on them, but that's still eight rounds, and uh, we're going to hit most of them. And we, we get, or uh, half of them, I guess. So we take a good chunk off of them. Hustle takes a good chunk off of them. And now I'm going to turn to try to get the rear guns involved. He's outrunning his smoke screen. This guy clearly has no idea what he's doing. Uh, he's firing his guns. He's outrunning his smoke screen, so he's not taking advantage of that. We're about to get the front guns and the rear guns on him. And wait for it. We try to blind fire. Come on. We just go ahead and fire into the mist. He did manage to get himself concealed, and unfortunately, we managed to miss him. So uh, missed opportunity there. Should have definitely tried to get those rear guns on him a little bit quicker, but is what it is. We managed to avoid his torpedoes, again showcasing that he has absolutely no idea what he's doing. He was launching behind us when we were clearly slowing down to go forward again. And we're just going to leave him. Um, it's actually a dangerous play to leave that guy alive because even if he has no idea what he's doing, he's still in a destroyer. And he can still make our lives miserable. But also, notice our aircraft carrier and where he's heading. Our aircraft carrier is heading right for this guy. Why? I have no idea. But he is. Uh, but anyway, we get a very good hit on the Gneisenau there. 12,000 damage. 
and you can see this is like the beginning of me and Hustle together. Peaks out ahead of us, and uh, this part's where me and Hustle's really going to start doing our thing. And we're going to have a fantastic game. Peak's going to have a great game too, but uh, yeah, it's going to come down to this division carrying this match, and it's not even close. Um, we've got New Mexico broadside, and we get another decent chunk, and he takes Torpedo and dies. But uh, Gnizno out here is my next one. I'm slowing down, still keeping all my guns on him. Want to make sure we get as much damage off of him as possible. And as soon as we get loaded here, I believe this is one of those that we uh, wait for Hustle to be ready to shoot him as well. And yeah, you can see I'm holding my fire, even though I could shoot right now. And this is solely for the fun of it. Like, we're all just goofing around. Uh, Hustle fires his guns with me, and look at all of those shells. Good God. I get a nasty hit, Hustle gets a nasty hit, and uh, I think Peak's about to get around the corner and hit him as well. Uh, just nasty, man. Leones aren't the greatest ships in the world, but you get a few Leones together and they can absolutely punish people. And of course, Gnizno is shooting HE back at us because reasons. Now here we were waiting for Hustle again. We count it down, we fire the guns, you can see once we uh, look down range, you'll see all those shells. Good God, man. That's disgusting. It really is disgusting. And there's the Citadel. That was the point at which Pete called out. He's like, he's turning. He's raising that Citadel. And that was when I got the Citadel on him. Completely surprised me. Not going to lie. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you got to love it. Got to love it. But now, this is where we split up. Pete's going to go out. He's going to fight straight ahead. Get into the fights with the King George. We're going to be turning back and trying to help defend our carrier a little bit. We've got multiple destroyers spotted on our left. Uh, King George is just absolutely begging for it out there. So we're gonna try to introduce ourselves to him. He's he's going in reverse, I believe. So we're gonna aim in behind him and see if we can't penetrate a superstructure and down through the deck potentially. And lo and behold, eh, we didn't get much out of it, unfortunately. RNG was not with us on that one. Or we were just bad at aiming. Either or. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep pushing. Now King George is coming towards us now. Seen that from the wake of him. And that's when we look over. We've got a Gnizno headed towards our base. We've got the destroyers headed towards our base. And so we're gonna give one last shot at this King George, I believe, as he starts turning potentially. And then we're gonna yeah, he's actually turning in now. So not a very good shot by me. Unless we get some favorable RNG that helps us out. Nah, we didn't. But uh, Peak should be able to handle a King George. Uh, we've got the Jervis over here spotted. We're going to try to take a shot at the Jervis, I think, on the next shot. I'm fairly confident. Oh. Come on. I took way too long to look at the Jervis. Are we going to get the shot off? Yep, we got the shot off. And he's about to disappear. So I don't know how much damage we're going to get, except I think, yeah, we get one hit. One hit on him. So not a whole lot of damage there. Uh, but now, you can see Hustle and I running together. Peek's over there. He's dealing with the King George. He should have no trouble with that, as we've already said. But Peek's also being attacked by the aircraft carrier, because he's getting a little close to the aircraft carrier, apparently. Uh, King George has given us a beautiful broadside. We're going to go ahead and take that. Hustle already hit him. And we're about to hit him as well. And we destroy one of his turrets, and Peak finishes him off. Now, now that the immediate threat to Peak is over, other than the the aircraft carrier, we have to start contending with these guys on our uh, bow. And so, uh, as soon as the Gnizno gets spotted again, we've got torpedoes ahead. I think we take one, maybe two here. Yeah, definitely going to take two. One on the bow. There you go. Going to put that out make sure we're not flooding and now I'm gonna come across the bow of uh, hustle here hustles actually gonna turn to the right I'm turning to the left we're gonna cross each other and uh, I'm gonna get all of my guns to bear and he'll have all of his guns to bear in a moment as well and uh, this guy is I don't know you can't be this far broadside to battleships at this close a range like it's just not gonna go well for you and so uh, we get a good hit, and then, of course, Hustle's going to be able to smash him again. And we lose one of our turrets. 
So unfortunately, we're down four guns. But, still got 12. Which is plenty. That's when this guy decides, now's a good time for him to start turning in, right? He's gotten his butt kicked pretty hard in two back-to-back -back salvos. Uh, he turns in, I shoot superstructure, and I believe either Peak is going to shoot him or, or Hustle's going to finish him off. Oh. Yep, there's Peak's Kraken. Peak manages to yoink another one. But uh, we've got a Mayhan all the way out here. And this is the guy that we left alive at the beginning. And look where he is compared to uh, our aircraft carrier. Our aircraft carrier did the wrong thing here. Ran all the way to the corner of the map. In the end, it probably saved his life. But he really didn't need to run that far. Um, this Mayhan, if he, if he would have spotted and potentially done anything, he could have been dropping bombs on him. Got rid of him a lot sooner. Um, I miss him completely. And I believe the aircraft carrier does eventually kill him. So, props to him for actually hitting him. But yeah, it's just one of those one of those things. It's all it's all new. But I, I really wanted to show show you guys this video because I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, you get a triple the own division. I did 127,000 damage with a Citadel. Peak got a Kraken and over 100,000 damage. And I want to say that uh, I'll uh, hustle with us. I think he got 80 to 90,000 damage. So uh, we all got a little bit of everything. And so you're going to see us top of the leaderboard. Now, unfortunately, Pete goes down to the Hatsuharu's torpedoes. Or was that? No, that was Hustle. Sorry. I thought that was Peak. But no, that was Hustle. And uh, Peak's going after the aircraft carrier, and I believe he ends up dying to the aircraft carrier. And then I'm going to swing over and try to capture the base. You can see the Mayhan's already dead. It's just the aircraft carrier left. Peak has no health. That aircraft carrier's done a number to him. Leon, not exactly the greatest ship for AI or AA. So, uh, yeah, they, they just tear you up if you're not careful. And especially if you're coming towards them, so they have those really quick reloads of their uh, fighters and st or their bombers. Yeah. So Ryujo manages to finish off peak. He's too far away for us to worry about, so we're going to go straight, straight into A and try to capture A. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Something a little different. Uh, if you guys are interested in watching Peak's uh, meme, meme Build Mondays, it, it's Monday nights, usually like 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, maybe 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, something like that. And he usually streams for several hours. Um, I've streamed with him usually early, and then when, uh, when I'm ready to jump off, which is like 11 to 12 o'clock, then uh, I think, who's the other guy that jumps in? Is it Galaxy? Maybe Galaxy jumps in. I forget. I forget who jumps in with Peak after I leave. But uh, anyway, it's several hour long stream. If you if you guys enjoy it, it's, it's just something for uh, Peak and them to, to get out of competitive mode. Like, we're all super competitive. I enjoy it for the same reason. I like to just relax and have a little bit of fun with the guys, which is different from what we normally do because, you know, usually when we're playing together, we're going try hard mode and I'm angry most of the time. So it's nice to jump in there, not even care about winning and losing, just have fun. Um, and Mr. President's really fun too. It's where you take two of your division mates and you decide who the president is and the person that's president sails directly forward in towards the enemy base and the two guys that are protecting him literally sandwich him in between. It's, it's pretty funny. So uh, if, you've got, if you guys have never seen that, you should check it out. But uh, it's something that I intend to hopefully join in with them some more on. But Mondays are always my busiest day. So, not sure how often I'll get to join them on Meme Build Mondays, but, you know, I try. And, uh, yeah, as we get into the base, the game's almost over. It's, it's 960, so, and we're about to have another base cap, so. I, I don't even know if we get this cap by the time the, or the game ends, to be honest. The friendly aircraft carrier is sending his stuff over to that guy. I was kind of hoping he'd get him spotted so I could take some revenge for Peak, but it just doesn't happen. He's on the back side of the island, like directly ahead of us. But nothing I can do about it. Game is over, and we win. Come on. Game is over. Thank you. 
So what do we end up with? Skip the milestone. There you go. 127,000 damage done. Second on the team. Pete gets first with a Kraken. 2688. I get 2121. And uh, Hustle gets 2117. So three of us over 2,000 base XP. That was a heck of a carry for our team. So if you like what we're doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.